Hey, what's going on guys? Butterbar here. I haven't done a vlog in I don't know how long, at least a couple, like several weeks I haven't done a vlog. So I figured do a vlog today. We're going to be doing a couple of things out of the house and um, I figured just take you with me and see what's going on. But with everything, my dogs already know that we're going to leave. So one has already assumed the position of us leaving. Ted, are you ready to, ready to just, just stick it in there for the long haul? Yeah, he just lays there. Lays there all day. Either that or he lays upstairs and just sleeps until we get back. So anyway, we're going to go to the gym. We're going to um, go see my grandparents. We're actually in a nursing home. We're just going to go visit them for a little bit. And then uh, we're going to see my buddy Eric. I haven't seen Eric in a while. Eric is a, a good friend of mine because we also went through the EMT and firefighting school together. So let's just go and hit right on. Right now him. we're heading to the gym. And I think about... Probably the one is the, one of the hardest things to go to the gym. Like one thing that'll keep you away from going to the gym is just the weather. The weather in Kansas City has sucked the past couple of days, uh, with it being in the 20s and 30s. And I usually go in a tank top when I go work out and shorts. So I'm over here just bundled in my jacket, just freezing in the car until it gets warm, like three fourths of the way there. So I feel like that to me, going to work out, like having the motivation to go, uh, is not a big deal. It used to be a big deal when I was like a lot skinnier, um, not that great into working out, but now that I've actually gotten a lot more experience in working out, um, it's a lot easier to go to the gym with motivation. It's just the weather and I get so cold on the way to the gym. So we're, today we're gonna go ahead and hit chest. Uh, just because of the work schedule that Han and I have been on, usually I do chest on Monday because that's International Chest Day. Uh, but with her working and me working, we usually don't get to hit chest the same day. So uh, we leave Saturday or a day that her and I both have off to hit out chest. So we're gonna go do that right now. <laughs>
So we're finally done with our workout and it's funny to see like the improvements and everything with, with all the workouts that we've done over the years. And it's funny to look back 10 years ago and always wonder, you know, where you're gonna be at in you know, the next 10 years. And I would never expect my skinny little ass, I was 170 pounds to now weigh 256 and be able to lift as much as I used to. I mean, we did, uh, we did bench, uh, which both Han and I have both been able to increase our weights from what we used to be able to do, even back when I was in the army. Um, we did incline bench, and again, another thing that I was able to increase my weight. Uh, then we did uh, some dips, which Hannah not, wouldn't, uh, didn't used to be able to do dips, uh, but now she's able to knock them out just as easy as anything, right? On a Okay, never mind. Um, she even got complimented today for how well she did dips, so um, I thought that was pretty cool for her. And um, so we had a really great workout. Um, I got my protein shake. We're now heading uh, down to uh, see my grandparents and see Eric. So this is my buddy Eric, like I was talking about. Him and I both went through the fire academy and EMT school together. And that little shit behind him is his son. <laughs> have anything to say, Eric, to anybody that's watching? What? Oh, you were, uh, what were you? You're the class. President, yep. Turns out you're getting sunglasses. Oh, gosh, God damn president it. president over here can't work a camera. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, do you know I'm known as Mongo for Overflow? Yeah, that's off of Spicy Saddles. No, <laughs> just Mongo, just like that's the nickname they gave me at my Mongo park. Break Stuff. <laughs> it's exactly what it is, though. <laughs> Shut up, Ryan. What are you doing? <laughs> Ryan, what do you have to say, man? Uh, um, Be polite, don't make me spank you on the internet. That's enough. <laughs> Carries over. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching. We definitely had a blast today. It was really nice seeing everybody, and it was just an awesome thing to be able to be with friends and family uh, that you haven't seen seen in a long time. One thing I think was really cool, and Eric didn't have to do this for me, but he he did this. Uh, he actually got me a knife. He got me a knife um, that has the firefighter emblem on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, pretty sharp knife. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna be able to keep this with me. Um, in my suit and uh, in my bunker gear and everything. So um, I thought it was really nice of him. I want to tell him thank you so much, Eric. I really appreciate you and your friendship. So thank you so much. Well, tonight is also the Super Bowl. So I don't know who's going to win. I know the Chiefs aren't in the game, so I can't root for them. But um, I think I'll have to root for the Falcons. I know a lot of soldiers back, uh, back in North Carolina that uh, rooted for the Falcons. So I'm going to go ahead and choose, choose them to win the Super Bowl. Uh, we'll see how it goes with the Patriots and everything, uh, but I don't know, maybe we'll be surprised tonight. Well, hey guys, if you like this video and you like me doing the vlogs and you want me to continue on do doing them, uh, give me a like, subscribe to the channel. I can't believe we're already at 50 subscribers. This is an awesome thing. Thank you so much. And like always, I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I will see you next time.